Hola, hola, buenos dias. Man, I need to learn some Spanish coming down here, boy. It's pretty much such a ass up. Always this GPS. Man, I am so close to the border, it's crazy. I'm at this delivery. I'll show you right now. <laughs> Check this out. This is where I'm at. And you can see Mexico. I'm half a mile from the border in Laredo, delivering. Moral of the story is always show up early because I showed up here and I got a dock at 9. My delivery's at 9. But if you show up late, like those, some of those other guys, well, they're not late. They're on time. But if you show up on time, you're not going to get a dock on time. And then you're going to be here for some time. And parking here is a premium on the border. So definitely should show up early. We're in Laredo, Texas, 9 a.m. We're going to hit that. Throw this thing on my hat. So I don't got to hold it, but I figured I'd, I'd tag you guys along on this morning's adventure in Laredo. I'm pretty much like, I went through neighborhoods and stuff, but like... There's so much room here. I thought this place would be tight, but like there's so much room here. So it works out. But yeah, uh, the plan is get unloaded and then hop on up more north. Go to a pilot like 20 minutes away from here, maybe 10, 15 minutes actually. Because most of my pickups that I'm going to be heading out of here, hopefully today are up there so that's the plan we're gonna unload here and then tag you guys along on the route out of here in case you've never been to laredo and uh yeah catch your own in a bit hopefully get unloaded pretty quickly and get going vamonos mic check mic check boom boom we are done let's get going put our shoes on is 10 we're heading to that TA actually it's not pilot uh, 12 miles 13 plenty of room to shut the doors Bag raised so I can slide my tandems. In the beginning, whenever I was new, see that's smart. That guy puts the cutters over his shoulder. I'll learn something new today. Uh, whenever you want to slide your tandems, you always want to let your bags air up. Because if your bags are not up, it's going to have a hard time sliding, especially if you're loaded. And not, not even just bags, your pin that pops up is an airbag that actuates it. So if there's not air back there, they can't pop in. Whenever I just started driving, I, was, I used to like just get off the dock and right away be like, oh, why won't it slide? And now you know. Shutter doors and slider tandems. This is my second time ever in Laredo, but I bet it gets hot here in the summer. Slider pin now, you go get some new tires from my trailer. these loads always inspect your roof whenever you get done because they do tend to put holes in your roof always walk through I wasn't hauling those big racks I was hauling some plastic racks so those don't really pierce your roof but those high Those high stackable 
racks for axles and the Ford mainly uses and depending on what you're hauling it's not just Ford. Those tend to uh, pierce your roof. Let's uh Hit up that food truck up there. There's a food truck right next to the TA. I think we're recording. Are we? I believe so. It's red. Okay. Let's get going up. No, that microphone's recording, so is this one. There's a nice sprinter camper over there. It's empty? Yeah, it's empty. That's where I was waiting earlier on that corner, right next to that bush. Head east on Jefferson Street towards Santa Rita. GP Transco. Come on. Here in Mexico, I remember when we went, we went to Cancun. The only difference is there's a uh, you're not seeing like Toyota Hiace and, and and whatnot, some of those cars and, and trucks that they have down there. I mean, border is literally half a mile south. There's signs here, no trucks. That's literally the way I came. There's signs everywhere, no trucks, but the build, the company's down here. But then there's a sign over there that says truck route. Yeah, literally, this is the way I came. And there was another sign up there that said truck route this way. I guess they just not even sure anymore which way they want to let trucks go, which way they don't. There's nothing, there's nothing stopping you up here.
Boris. Boris. I bet those are some fire authentic tacos. Ain't no Taco Bell around here. I'm not big on spicy food. I'm like very, very picky on ingredients, man. Like, I like simple, very, very simple stuff, you know? But I had some tacos down in Mexico. They were fire. Some smells good. Well, this camera angle ain't move, always be moving on me. Oh well, however it's recording, that's what I will roll with. Diamond's so bad, looks like he's crab walking like the Hummers. Jeez, his truck is like this. I'm not sure if you can see him, but like literally his, his rear wheels are like, they're like good 10 inches off from, from the front ones. It's a work truck. Got it strapped down. That bad they ain't going nowhere. we go I thought my uh, microphone was recording but as it turns out it wasn't we're approaching a border checkpoint in Texas anywhere near the border they're gonna have these checkpoints as you can see there's gonna be a canine walking and the guy he walks with a canine around the cars I guess just looking for any drugs or or smuggling going on or anything like that all they ask you is when you pull up is hey how's it going are you a u.s citizen what are you hauling not one time have i been pulled aside yet i'm a citizen whatever you're hauling you just tell them and then pretty much you're on your way to go that's it uh, again i thought my microphone was recording but it turns out it wasn't my one of my microphone was not turned on so it is what it is, but you get the point. Figure I'll show it to you anyways and record it for you. So let's keep it going. Yeah, I uh, just got done eating. I know this AC is annoying. It is what it is. Earlier I was recording. The thing that's annoying with this microphone is like how you got to turn on the microphone that's on the camera and then you got to turn on like transmitter and receiver i guess this would be transmitter and that would be receiver vice versa whatever you get the point yeah and like that's the annoying thing and then sometime you know I'll turn on my camera and forget the other one and then i'm there blabbering but there's no audio but when there is audio it's good so it is what it is uh, sometimes if i do shoot a video or something and there's no audio i'll just do a voiceover over it essentially explaining what happened so i don't waste the video but yeah 
that's going to do it for today. Loading up here in Del Rio, Texas. And uh, we're going to head to Canton, Mississippi. Taking some airbags to Nissan. So that's the plan. Get loaded up. Go deliver that. And keep on rolling. Stay safe. Take it easy. Keep you all posted. See you on the next one.